It's not my fault. It is not my fault, people. Uh, that's never happened to me before. Hey, Linda, it's not my fault. Uh, hey, Sherry, I'm going to wait till everybody gets in here, then I'll talk, <laughs> talk about that. But I do not know what went on there. Hey, Katie. Hey, back again. Deja vu. Uh, that was weird. This is the first time that happened. A blue screen popped up. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kendra. Uh, hey, Ed. Yeah, everybody. That that was weird. Hey, Michael Prescott. Michael Prescott. Isn't that a famous, somebody famous? Are you famous? That, that, that name sounds familiar, Michael Prescott. What is up, Paul? Uh, I appreciate everybody coming back in here. Oh, my stripper lights. I bet it had a virus. I bet my stripper lights had a virus. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, it was a blue screen that popped up that said, I forgot even what it said, but it, it said 0% complete. Um, there was a problem with my computer. It needs to restart. It's never did that before. Hey, uh, DeColt. Oh, the Colonel. See that? The Colonel. That's how I say it. Like the Colonel, like KFC. We had this talk before about the Colonel. There's not even an R in there, and they call it. It's just a weird name. What is up, Breathable? Okay, let's get let's get back to some questions. First one I'm gonna go to. Bam, Breathable. Do you think if you prepared and emptied your stomach for a challenge, if you ingested THC? Would that help you eat more for the hunger it causes? I think that's a mind thing because your stomach can only hold so much. So if your brain, I mean, it could be a little brain thing where it's pushing you to eat more a little bit, but I think it's just like, if it helps you out, I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it'll do nothing to me, but I don't, I don't mess with it. So I'm not sure of that. You might want to, Ask around, I guess. Hey, thanks, uh, Bernard. I appreciate it. Yeah, Katie, I think my neighbor uh, did one of those things that she does with a towel. She'll go out there. She'll go out there with a, uh, let me get one of my towels. She's a white towel. She get there and she does that to my yard. She does some hex hex stuff on there. Michael Prescott, the most food I think I would say not it's not weighed out, but I believe it was about eleven pounds. I've never done a banana challenge, but if Nor Notorious B O B was still in here, he would he would tell you. He done a lot of bananas before. He did some huge ones. They only look like this big, but his hands are massive. So uh, you gotta. He, I think he has a record or something. You might want to talk to to Notorious Bob about that. Uh, it was a. I think Bernard it was a pizza. B thirty three is in the house. Hey, Miss Hobbs' husband, Brandon, Aaron, Ed, uh, Kendra is in the house. Hey, Kendra, I'm just getting the questions now. So if everybody has questions, I'm gonna try to answer uh, one person, you know, per person, and then I'm gonna try to get to everybody. But hey, DM, how you doing, Brandon? Uh, you can tell us a story about the containers. About ooh, must have been a lie. I forgot. What containers? The uh, the Tupperware? The containers. I'm trying to think if it was the Tupperware. I thought we talked about the Tupperware.
Oh, and everybody, I'm still selling my T-shirts and all the proceeds, like all the money except the shipping, all the money is going to my friend's funeral, his family, um, his kids, and his wife. So if anybody buys T-shirts all the way to the 17th of September, that's that's one month from when he died. Uh, he died on the 17th of this month, on last Friday. But uh, all the money, if you buy a shirt until the 17th of that, all that money will go go to his family. Remember, I told you I had like 40 of them. Remember, I told you I had like 40 of containers. I'm trying to, I'm getting old. You had 40 of what containers of, oh man, I'm, I'm getting really old. I always say it must have been a lie if uh, I don't remember it. Breathable, I am 42. All right, G, you have a good day. Unless you made other plans. Yes, the Tupperware. Okay. Um, I think I did talk about that already, but I told you, even if my mom had a Tupperware of mine, I'm writing it, I'm writing you on a list, okay? Here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'll probably have my phone with me, but I'll sit here. As soon as you, as um, soon as you get a Tupperware from me, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, Sherry has a medium Tupperware bowl with lid. I'm gonna put you in there, and you're gonna stay on that list. And I will every week for a month. I will ask you about my Tupperware, and then after a, a month, every few days I'll ask you, and then I'll ask you about every day. So. If you get tired of me asking, just give me my Tupperware back. Oh, uh, Kendra, my next challenge would be I'm going to Ohio. So I'm going to tell everybody what I'm doing. Uh, not this week because my I'm going to the funeral tomorrow. But my trip, Ohio, the, on the 27th. I'm going to Rockstar Pizza, hopefully, to do a promotion of, of a big pizza. So I need to call them back. Actually, I'm going to leave this out so I can call them back. But uh, I'm going to, um, I'm definitely doing Ramundo's Pizza in Cincinnati, Ohio, on the 28th at 5 p.m. And I'm doing Amigos, the contest, Amigos Taco on Wednesday. I don't Taco Tuesday, but this is Wednesday. So it's going to be Wednesday, 29th at Amigos Bar and Patio in Cincinnati. So that is my schedule for uh, this coming up week. I'm going to, I got to write this call Rockstar back. What is up, Donald? Call. I write notes over everything I do because I got a lot of stuff going on. And everybody, I don't, I don't mean to be uh, rude about stuff, but when people say, hey, let me know when you're, you're in Indiana. I mean, I got a lot of people, like 200, 300, 400 people that asked me to let them know when I'm going somewhere. That's a, I mean, I can see if I got one person to let know. But if I got to let 400 people know, that is a lot of people to let know where I'm going. So I tell everybody, tune into my Fridays and I'm going to let you know where I'm about to go. Uh, if you miss it on Friday and you, you tune in Saturday morning, you'll still see where I'm going. Uh, but I will uh I'll try to let you know in advance where I'm going as well. How is your crazy neighbor? She's still crazy. <laughs> Nicola, do I always crush? I crush every challenge I go to probably 99.9% .9 of the time. But peaches, peaches are 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 pretty uh pretty I guess easy if it's under 10 pounds, but hey, um, everybody, I'll be in Georgia. Okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get crazy now because actually here's what's going to happen Tuesday. Tuesday, I'll be in Cincinnati. So if you need to, to ask me a question about it, um, ask me on one of my, um, one of my videos, ask, ask a question, but I'll be in Cincinnati on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll be in Illinois, like 20 miles from my house on um, Saturday. 
But I got to go straight from that chicken wing contest all the way to Georgia by 11 a.m. Sunday. So no sleep. I'm sleeping after the contest. So I'll be in Georgia, Marietta, Marietta, Georgia. And then I'll be in Alabama on the 3rd. So I got a record to beat on the third in Alabama. I think Ivan the Avocado has a record there. So I'm going to meet Ryan Best. He's a competitive eater. I'm going to meet Ryan Best in Birmingham, Alabama on the third. Uh, that'd be on the Monday and handle that business. What are you coming back to, Indiana? Uh, Indiana, I'll be there probably the first Sunday. What the hell's going on here? This computer's acting crazy today. Uh, I'll be I'll be in Indiana for Arnie's. So look for A R N I. It's in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, the first Sunday of October, I believe. So, oh, I'll be in, I'll, I'll be there on the sixth as well. So maybe the Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Seymour in Seymour, Indiana, they have an Oktoberfest. I'll be in Seymour, Indiana on the 6th of October. So write this down, everybody, or go back and watch this video and, and see all the dates that I'm, I'm throwing at you. So I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I got sheets I make each trip. I got sheets, times, everywhere I'm going. These are all my trips. Uh, I still got to add to this Indiana one. But I do, I mean, I, I'm over here, I'm over here willing and dealing, calling for promos and everything else. Breathable, why do I do this? I don't know. I like eating. I like eating and I like getting paid. So I might as well do that at the same time. Plus, I have to eat every day to live, so... I'm just I'm just making money to live. But I got uh Yeah, I just like making money as well. But I still do construction in my gardening, but I'm gonna I'm gonna knock the gardening off next year and the next two years. But everybody, uh, if you don't know, I got a Roku channel. Uh it just started like a few days ago. Uh it's doing a lot better on YouTube already. So if you got Roku, uh, look under the garbage disposal. All right, look under all my new um, all my new videos. will have the uh, the garbage disposal um, Roku channel. Okay. What are your strongest events or food? Strongest events are under five minutes, and the food would be uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't care. What is going? Something's going on with my computer today, and I do not know what's going on with it. It keeps on popping up the screen on the side for some reason. I don't know. My batteries. I changed my battery and my mouse, so it shouldn't be my mouse battery that's causing all that. Hey, welcome back, Brian. Yeah, my computer messed up for some reason. Um, I've got too much viruses from porn or something. I don't watch porn, though. What's your heat limitation? I don't even know what SHU. Oh, Scoville units? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, hell, uh, I got I got that Natalie's uh, video coming out that Molly already posted, but that was like the hottest bowl of soup in the world. Uh, the record was 16 minutes, and I did it in seven minutes, but she was there. So she did in like three and a half minutes or four minutes. But the guy, the guy kept saying she did it in four and a half minutes or something. And I'm, I'm trying to eat still while, while I got a, a spit of hell in my eyeball because I dropped the, I put a piece of that, uh, I put the cup down in the, in the little drop of that hot soup in my eyeball. So I looked like Popeye. I was over there trying to eat and it was really hurting my stomach. My eyeball was hurting. Then he was like four and a half minutes and I'm still arguing with the guy with doing this like, and I'm like three. It was three minutes or three and a half minutes, and but I didn't want to hear you get cheated.
All right. Uh, what's your favorite food? Wait, my favorite pizza is pizza. I like pizza. I like pizza challenges. Uh, I don't, as long as it ain't a, a regular non season hamburger. I could say I do not like hamburger and fry uh, challenges. I do it a lot, but if it's a really good cheese, like a really good hamburger, uh, I'll still like to do a hamburger challenge if it's really good hamburger, not just a regular dry big patty with nasty fries. Yes, everybody. I appreciate everybody for coming for Fridays and um uh, and um uh, enjoying this time with me. I got about thirty six minutes left, maybe an hour, maybe four. Yeah, maybe an hour and six minutes to thirty. I might do till ten to ten thirty. After ten thirty is my top where I have to I have to go ahead and call it quits because I got to get ready for a funeral. Tomorrow. You see, I didn't shave in in like five days or so because I'm shaving. I'm shaving tomorrow, so all this right here, I'll probably put some more gel in tonight, so it kind of, you know, I think the girls will know, you get bad hair day, you know, you get good hair day if you don't wash your hair every day, so hope it curls up good for me tomorrow, I'll put some gel in it and just do this, and bam, be good to go. Wish I could send that video. Oh, I wouldn't snort no ghost pepper powders. Just like when they were snorting vodka. Like that's just uh if they want to die, they can die. Man, I already got nine dislikes. Is this stripper lights that you don't like or something? I got nine of them on this one. Well, at least they tune in. Now I got eight. Thank you for knocking that uh that oh, now I got nine again. What are you guys doing? Playing with my emotions. You know what? If you like to dislike, guess what? You showed up to dislike it. So still got here. Put 50 dislikes up there. I don't care. You're still here. So nah. You ain't hurting my feelings. My last feelings. All right. Any um any other questions? Let me see. What's your favorite food? I said pizza, probably pizza. I don't know. I really don't have a favorite favorite food. Maybe pizza is to go a go to food. Uh, I don't know. I like a variety of foods. Instead of just having one lump of just one food, I like a lot of variety. I was going to do something one day on a live feed. I'm going to have this whole table full of food, all kinds of food, all kind, peanut butter, pizza, spaghetti. I don't care, whatever, mustard, ketchup. I have all that on the table and you and ice cream, maybe. And you guys get to pick two foods that I have to mix together to eat. How about that? <clears throat> Maybe even three foods. Get crazy with it. <clears throat> hey, thanks, Nicola. Brian Brickle, the donut challenge. Uh, I called them and they called me back, left a message because I was busy. But uh, they're not offering no promo. So it's like I give them a 48 hour in advance notice and. That's all. It's like no promo. So I'm not even going to have a TV crew there. I'm not even going to have that guy show up because uh, they don't want to do a promo. They ain't getting no extra out of me. I'll do it. Brian, I would do a peanut butter and avocado. I sure would. So uh, not this Friday, but the, the one Friday when I'm home and doing a live, I'll fill this table up full of food and I will put tuna on there, ice cream everything crazy and you guys get to pick what i have to eat what i what i gotta mix together how about that ice cream burritos i don't care what it is because you know what everybody when it all boils down to it it's uh it all mixes in your stomach anyway so certain people's brains cannot uh 
cannot handle eating stuff together. And my brain already says, hey, it's going down here and it's going to mix anyway. So just don't worry about it. Kimchi. Yes, I get kimchi every time I go to the, uh, the uh, is it Japanese or Chinese? When I go to the Oriental place up uh, this one special one, I always get the kimchi. Dotto, my my um my channel is listed under the garbage disposal. You give me a second and I will pull this up for you. That's what she said. I'm multitasking here. Bam. Look at that. That's my uh, Roku channel I just put put up. Hopefully, yeah, there it is. So that's my Roku channel. So, and I heard it's easier to navigate than using YouTube. Uh, I don't know anything about Roku. I'm not gonna lie to you today. I don't lie on Fridays, especially the uh, the fourth Friday of the month. Do not. That's a no no. Hey, Amy Kohler, how you doing? Colder. Is that a faucet? Do you own the faucet company, Amy? John Wayne. That's a good question. Uh, Roku is like an internet cable. So you get a, you, your internet's hooked to your TV, I believe, and you use a remote. It's like an Android box. If you got an Android box or a fire stick, something like that. Miss Hobbs would tell you all about it. Okay. Miss Hobbs, let them let them know what that is. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have any secretaries. I don't got any money for no secretaries. Uh, Linda, I would eat sardines and Fruit Loops, even though I don't even eat sardines. But I will not have sardines on my table, partly because I got to go buy them. I'm just pulling everything out my cabinet. So everything out my cabinet, a cereal, everything out my cabinet. I'll even use my chicken. My chicken or fish uh, seasoning. I'll put that on there. I don't care. I'll put fish seasoning on my ice cream. Who who cares? I'll get crazy. Yes, uh, yes, Fry. I will make a bad. You know what? The only bad, the only song really I can sing pretty bad is uh, Orange Juice Jones. Yes, I saw you and him walking in the rain. You was holding hands and never be the same. You hear that? Bam, Orange Juice Jones. I saw you and him walking in. Yes, I know that song, Miss Hobbs. I know the hurt he was feeling when he saw them holding hands in the rain. Aaron, I'm not, I'm not going to buy any extra food. I'm just going to use food I got around the house. I'm not doing no shopping. I'm not doing no shopping. Or I can see uh, Biz Marquee, uh just a friend. How about that? Hot dog casserole. Jeremy, any casserole is good because you put cheese, just put a lot of stuff together, throw cheese in it. Casserole. Nicola, if that made your day, you are easy to please. I'll tell you that. Sriracha and peanut butter sandwich is delicious. I think I have some sriracha or something like that around here. I'll make a... I'll make an onion and peanut butter sandwich. You know, who cares? Heck, if I got onions and peanut butter, I'll do it right now just to show you. <laughs> uh, uh, Sheena, somebody already want me to do it. 
I might have hot dogs in there to swallow whole, but I don't know. Let me see if I got onions. I don't even have any onions. I got peanut butter. Okay, guys. I'll just I'll give you a, I'll give you a free sample, a free a free um a sneak peek of what I'll be doing. I found some um. Alfredo ragu Alfredo sauce and I have some peanut butter. So okay, that, that that's a start. And um I got some bread here. I don't have ice cream, but I will have ice cream um the, the Friday that I do this. I will go shopping and get some ice cream. I will get that. You got to have some kind of sweet and savory and, you know. Okay, everybody. You know what? I'm going to do two sandwiches just for you guys. Because I'm hungry. All right. Let's see what else I got. I got tuna. I got tuna and peanut butter and Alfredo sauce. And here's one of my favorite plates. Because the plate isn't a, a regular circle, it's like goes in and out, so it's not a it's not an oval because it's kind of crazy. It's called oops. It's probably backwards. It's called oops because they messed up. Okay, okay, I got I got two sets of bread here. I got two sandwiches to make. Let me get my gum out. You don't want to mix no gum with this. Okay, everybody. I got peanut peanut butter. Okay, I got peanut butter. I got this bread today for eighty nine cents for a long loaf, a long loaf. All right. You gotta be a you gotta be a chef to spread peanut butter correctly without ripping the bread. Cause you don't want to get too crazy with the peanut butter. So you gotta be frugal with it. All right, I got I got peanut butter. Do you want peanut butter on both sandwiches or just one? Cause I'm making more than one sandwich. Everybody wants cereal. Both. Okay. I'm putting peanut butter on one side of each of these sandwiches. And everybody seems to want cereal, but I'm not opening every box of cereal, okay? I'm only opening one box. And if it's open already, that's going to be the box. Some crunch. I have some. This is what I have open. My daughter, my daughter eats cereal, okay? She likes to eat cereal. I have Rice Krispies, Fruity Pebbles. I get all these on sale, too. I do not get nothing. And um, whoop, I got a box top right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get that off right now before it comes up missing. And I have Cheerio, Frosted Cheerios. So it's Rice Krispies, Frosted Cheerios, or Fruity Pebbles. Okay, we got Fruity Pebbles. You said it first. But peanut butter and Fruity Pebbles, that just goes together. I mean, I would eat that. I would eat that normally. Okay. I mean, that's that's like that's like a regular meal. I mean. Okay. I would put Okay, yeah, let's do something crazy, guys. You guys are not crazy enough. And I'm not the one that, oh, and Alfredo. Okay, let me see if I got an open jar of Alfredo. I don't want to open a whole jar and I got to open one. I got some, uh, I got some pickles. Yeah. Might as well get crazy with it.
Okay. I'll be more prepared the Friday I do this. I'll have everything on the table. But uh, I think I'm done. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab some tuna. I'm gonna grab some tuna for you too. Okay. So, you guys aren't creative enough, so I've got to, okay, this is Alfredo, I just opened up some ragu, ragu Alfredo, I guess it's going to go on the peanut butter, peanut butter and fruity pebbles, okay, okay. All right. Hey, this is like an infomercial. Wait, that's not all. Yes, Brian, you know I'm going for the pickles. These are bread and butter pickles, and they're crunchy. Two of them. Hold on, let's just, let's get crazy. Let's get three pickles. Can't never have enough pickles, but she said. Okay, that's, that's it for this sandwich. I got pickles, fruity pebbles, Alfredo, and peanut butter. Mmm. So just eat this one first and then make another sandwich. And I got a piece of gum too. Let's just uh might as well put that in here too. Just get it get it over with. Go over right here. Okay, that was, um, that was, that was thick. Okay, let me, um, get some water. And that was, um, a peanut butter, a peanut butter with Alfredo, Fruity Pebbles, and bread and butter pickles. Okay, now we already got one with peanut butter on it. Uh, I got some taco sauce. Might as well get some, uh, spice it up. Some taco sauce and some peanut butter. You got to get festive with it, you know. So I got taco sauce and peanut butter. Oh, a piece of cheese. Aaron, everything tastes better with cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay. Piece of cheese. Okay. And we got some tuna. It's a uh, sweet, sweet and spicy tuna. Might as well use the whole thing. I mean, who who uses half a pack? Okay. Okay, I got tuna, taco sauce, cheese. Who said don't put cheese on fish? I mean, what's wrong with them? And peanut butter. But wait, there's more. Um, I also got cream cheese, strawberry cream cheese spread, but it's not open. Might as well open it. I don't have any cold. See, it's not even open. My daughter uses this. I'm not going to mess with this one. Uh, I got Thousand Island dressing. I got ranch and I have lemon juice and I have barbecue sauce. So that's all I got right now for this sandwich. So it's probably good enough with just this on it, right? Digging in the tuna pack. Now here. <laughs> hey, 
That's what he's supposed to do. Like digging in the tuna pack. Then you go. I don't have any regular sour cream. Uh, this uh, this cream, this this ain't even open yet. And I think my daughter bought it and I won't open it up yet. Then it starts getting moldy quick. Barbecue and ranch. Okay, I'm going to do barbecue and ranch and I'm going to have to go ahead and eat this because it's getting late, too late to me to eat. So I put some uh, some barbecue sauce on there. Some ranch. Oh, no, I could cook. Hey, what? Hey, what job? I can, uh, I can cook good, actually. I'm a, I'm pretty good cook. Actually, there's a jalapeno popper recipe <clears throat> right there under that dog magnet. I put the dog magnet over there so nobody steals my recipe. I ain't, I ain't loose. I ain't loose like Smith Hobbs. She's loose with all her recipes. She lets everybody see it. Here's some things. Uh, Ooh, that's too much. Okay. Well, we basically got a salad here, um, Linda. Uh, Sherry, I'm sorry. Uh, basically got a salad. I got tuna, ranch, Thousand Island. I got uh, peanut butter, taco sauce. Hell, you might as well put a little lemon juice on there, you know. Okay. Okay, I'm um I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Bon appetit. Do you gotta do I gotta eat my I'm trying to eat civilized here, so I gotta eat my pinky out. This is nasty. Oh God. Okay, that was my dinner. All right. Party is over on that stuff. Now I gotta put all this stuff back. What was a cup of noodles? I don't know what you're talking about with a cup of noodles. I got an OCD, uh, OCD guys. I got to put everything back as soon as I, as soon as I get done with it. So you got to bear with me for a second. Everything needs to go back. Well, I got plenty of stuff from my fridge. I'm not. I got a daughter, so I gotta, I gotta keep her alive. I gotta keep her alive and buy food. I buy a lot of uh, I buy a lot of grapes and stuff that go bad. She likes grapes, but they always she never eats them. She just wants them. Oh, last thing, pickles, and I'll be done. Okay. That wasn't too that wasn't too bad. Now my my hope no hope no. Ex or girl comes over here now. She's going to think I had a bad date. Smells like it. Magic Mikey. It's the other Katie. Magic Mikey is in the house. What is up, Magic Mikey? Yeah, I just had to have it do a little... uh little crazy eating thing next I think not next Friday but maybe a Friday after that when I don't have a contest I'll put a lot of stuff on the table ice cream tuna whatever I'll mix it all together I mean hell it don't taste too bad just got to get get through the thought of all the food mixed together is all but excuse me I only like doing that on camera so my bad What is up, Hungry Hazard? Hey, uh, Joey, Joe92. How you guys doing? I appreciate you guys coming. I got to get all that 
stuff out my teeth. You got tuna in your teeth. Sometimes that ain't good. Miss Hobbs, I do have some mayo because somebody I know has to have mayo. So when I cook, I have to use mayo in their stuff or they won't eat it. Whack job. I sell everything I can in my garden. I'll sell green tomatoes, butternut squash, uh, pickles. What else I had out there? Lettuce, tomatoes, green tomatoes, red tomatoes, yellow tomatoes, pear tomatoes. Whatever's out there, I will sell it. You're welcome, Katie. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What is up, Andrew? Go ahead, Andrew. Try you a peanut butter and fruit loop sandwich with tuna, tuna fish and Alfredo sauce. Pickle pig's feet, Amy. I said that quick because I do not like pickle pig's feet. Do not like it. I tried it. Even tried a second bite just to see if the first bite was wrong. Same as the first. Nasty. Hey everybody, here's my um, I'll post it again. That's my Roku channel. If you got Roku, sign up. It is going down. Black currant? Is it Concord grapes or black currant? I never had black currant. I had black concord. Yes, Aaron had the pickles. Did you you got um you got Kool-Aid pickles too, didn't you, Aaron? Tuna with French dressing. Do you wrap that in um, lettuce? Yeah, I'm... Um, I'm, I'm kind of liking a Roku deal. Um, it's working out okay so far. Um, they get, hell, it, it updates every five seconds. So you get to see the pennies stocking, stacking up. Cherry. Yes, cherry is cherry. Uh, that's Kool-Aid pickles. Cherry Kool-Aid pickles. And in the ghetto, cherry is called red. Like, hey, what flavor you want? Red. Our grape is purple. Give me that purple stuff. Roku sounds like on the road type thing. <laughs> Which quote on my fridge? Nope. No quotes. Just uh, just a uh, uh, Miss Hobbs card right there. She sent me today. I don't know if her husband knew she sent me a card, but uh, she sent me a card. And if her husband's watching, I'm sorry. It's another Miss Hobbs. Uh, there's Linda. Linda sent me a card. This notorious Bob. Both of his cards right there helps me lose weight. <clears throat> And that's my Benny's uh, certificate I got for eating that pizza in uh, Pittsburgh just a couple weeks ago. Oh, I don't read people's cards. It's nothing like that. But uh, actually, actually, who else sent me the card? I'm, I'm lying because Miss Hobbs, Miss Hobbs, Miss Hobbs sent me the card, but it's from my friend that died. So uh, uh, Aaron sent it. Miss Hobbs, Katie, and Maddie sent it. So I just said Miss Hobbs because that's what that's who sent it, sent it. But uh I appreciate everybody that's been helping me out with my friend that died and uh uh sharing the video and donating. I really helped the family out a lot because I'm not get I'm not getting into to all to why I needed the money to help them out, but it it, it did help. Um uh, I just can't understand how some people act the way they do when people die. And that's about the way I can leave it. I cannot say anything else about it. I won't. 
but I just want to say I appreciate everybody that that's uh, helped, and um, I'll leave it at that. But I'm gonna. Um, I think Darren Breeden, Darren Eats, is going live after after I go live. So I, I think I'm his warm up. What do they call that when I'm warming up for somebody for a show or something? Like I'm just like a nobody. So I'm kind of like just souping the crowd up for the real entertainment. He must be doing some big shindig like a guitar solo or something. Opener, yes. That's what she said. No, uh, Miss Hobbs, thank you. Opener. I'm an opener for Dan Breeding. Woo! All right. But I want 10% of Aaron's, I mean, not Aaron, I'm sorry. Uh, I want 10% of Darren Breeding's uh, monies, royalties, that he gets um, when he uh, op when I have to open up for him. They, uh, I should have some jokes, you know, because I used to have some jokes, but uh, I'm the joke right now, okay? So, oh, I got a lot of stuff happening. I'm about. I'm, I'm trying to get some bad acting. I'm. I'm I got. I, ooh, ooh. Hold on, one, give me um, give me like ten seconds. You can count. Start. All right, whoever's counting, I made it. Ten seconds. Look what I got, guys. Look what the heck I got. It's not even out the plastic. You see how thick that is? This is twenty, twenty foot. 10 by 20, 200 square feet of green screen. You know how much fun I'm about to have with 200 square feet of green screen? That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. 200 square feet of green screen plus me equals party. There was even a rainbow up here when I said that. Miss Hobbs, uh, I'm going to have probably five chicken wing competitions, contests tomorrow. They're going to try me. They will try me. Each time they try me, I'm upping it. I'm upping it because I'm like, look, I just had a I just had a contest. Now I got to do another contest. I need more money. I'm going to make money tomorrow. I'm going in empty. That's what she said. Oh, I'm just, I, I'm, I got all kind of stuff that I want to do for this uh, green screen. So I got to figure a lot of stuff out. There's going to be a lot of crazy, a lot of crazy stuff. I'm thinking already, but I got a treadmill. I got a green screen. I got some kind of thing that needs to roll across the front room like I'm flying. Oh, it's it's going to be crazy. I'm doing, I'm doing, oh, I can't even tell you. I got all kind of stuff. Oh, and somebody, I'm not saying names. Somebody has sent me a special outfit. That's all I got to say, special outfit. And I'll be in public probably. So I'm going to see how people react to it. Skinny dipping. Not skinny. Not skinny at all. So she said. Miss Hobbs, it is difficult with the lighting. Uh, that's why I got to order some lighting probably. I do have one lighting deal. I'll figure it out. That's all I got to say. I figured out this much. I've not come this far to drop the ball. So she, that's what she said. 
Harness on a pulley. Whoa, that sounds like a sex swing. Hey, first thing that came to mind. Yeah, I'm gonna um I didn't take that out the pack yet because if I took that green skin out the pack, I would not get nothing done. I would be doing stuff around here, not even paying bills. Yeah, I need a you wanna see how crazy you wanna see how crazy this gets? This one looks like Christmas time. That one looks like Christmas time. It's like red, green, and blue are like the primary colors. And uh, I always keep it on. Um, like say, guys, if I got a date, watch this. This is so easy. Uh, so easy right here. Let me. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips, guys. Guys, if you're trying to. Trying to have a date and stuff. Yeah, whack job. This is a uh, this is serious business. Oh, Tupac, don't play Tupac. I'm telling you right now. I'm trying to hit my Pandora to show you what 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 to play. That's what not to play. Don't play Tupac, because uh, I heard that his full foe. Uh, Probably not make your kids grow. That's what he said. He said that in one of what on there. And Brenda, she had a baby. She had a baby. Uh, threw it in that trash heap. Uh, didn't know what to keep. Something like that. Okay. Uh, let's. No, Tupac is not on this fridge. Let me um. Okay, guys. Oh, I think you two might strike me for this. They ain't been giving my uh, monetization on my, my live stuff anyway. Okay, here you go, guys. Get you some lights like this. All blue, all, all blue. This one's acting crazy. There you go. You got to shut the lights off over there and there too, guys. But uh, yeah. That other one I'll shut off later, but uh, but that's all you gotta do. Just set the mood, you know, and uh, you take it from there. Talk soft. You talk soft. Don't talk loud like I am now. I'll be like, what did you do today? You know, talk talk soft. Don't be talking all loud and stuff. I mean, they gotta just talk real soft, so they gotta be quiet and listen to what you're saying. But usually I just have the white lights on. So it's a uh, hell this thing looks red at nighttime. Yeah, I had some Tupac playing and my buddy had died. That's the first thing he did in my car. First thing he did in my car when he got in there all the time. He put Tupac on there. Cold shower. Yeah, that helps. That helps. All right. Shut all these other ones off. I'm not uh, staying up too late tonight. I got to get up early. Yeah, that was uh, relaxation. Um, elevator music. Smooth jazz is what that was called. Smooth jazz. But usually I listen to meditation music uh, pretty much.
Moonshine. I was in Pikeville, Kentucky. Did that pizza, Jeremy? Yeah, I was. I, I did that pizza in uh, Pikeville uh, on my birthday on March the thirtieth. Yeah, this. Uh, oh, these lights don't work all the time. Oh, it's the wrong one. My bad. What uh? So what are you guys doing on a Friday night other than watching me waiting for Darren uh Darren Breeden to to come live? All right, whack job. You have a good one. Compton, California, in a Mazda. No, I haven't, Brian. No, I haven't. They did not let me. You know that. I tried, and it was a it was a bad time too. It was uh, what was that? The riots, the riots in 90, 90, 94. I wasn't the brightest person in the world. I don't know what is going on with that one. Hmm. All right. Good night, Kadams. Good night, Linda. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Three Six Mafia. I caught that before it left the screen, Miss Hobbs. Miss Hobbs. Oh, Miss Hobbs and Coin on the Cob. Slob. I'm not even going to sing the song. I'm not even going to sing it, Miss Hobbs. Because that is not right. I respect your husband too much to even sing that song and your name. Thick and Chucky, bro, did you know, yeah, uh, she talked to me about it, it just uh, didn't work out for her, she didn't have any water to swallow with it, I guess, and I, it probably inflamed, but like I said, you know, Molly says it too, you know, she's not, um, she's not, like, invincible, you know, she, um, there's certain foods that some people can do, and some people can't, there's people that can eat hot foods, real hot foods, uh, she can still eat hot foods and sharp, and, and, and deal with it, but some things are just uh, too crazy. Nicola, um, I just eat a lot of salads, pickles, drink a lot of fluids, um, and yogurt. When I come home, I don't I don't eat much at all. I usually drink a lot of a lot of water. And hold on. I'm not trying to advertise, so. A lot of water. There's another one up. There's another restaurant I'm not advertising. What is up? Oh, and one day I might wear uh, a thick and chunky shirt if I ever get in the mail. Uh, Mr. Corey. Think of Chunky Show. He's getting famous, I guess, because he's putting mail to the side and forgetting about it. He's forgetting about it. So glad I got other T-shirts to wear, or I would be really butt naked on my on my shows. Just mess with you, Corey. I got one person on my Patreon. One person, Mike from Utah, um, he's on the free muff giveaway. So he's the only person on my $25 tier that gets a free item every month. I don't even have to do a drawing because he's the only one. So he gets a trophy, a hat, a shirt, whatever. Bam. And he's helped out a lot at my buddy's funeral. So, uh, He's uh, he's been doing uh, helping me out, so I'm gonna throw him a shout out, even though he ain't in here. Uh, thank you, and everybody else has been, been um, helping me out. I really do appreciate it, and his family has too. Thanks, Kim Brown. I appreciate you uh, liking my video and everybody that watches my videos. Uh, I know 
kind of lately I've been I haven't put any bad acting in there, but I'm I'm trying I'm trying to put some bad acting in there. I found some extra buttons on YouTube, so I've been putting polls up. You saw the last poll I put up. People want to see some bad acting, so 66 percent. I saw it lately, but people are really getting crazy about me not having bad acting on there. So got to give give you what you want. That's what she said. Everybody, yes, thick and chunky show, Corey Styles. He um I tell everybody I like his food reviews. I really do. And like if he don't like pickles, he still eats it with everything that's supposed to come on it and then takes the pickle off. I don't know why he takes pickle off because pickles are crazy good, but some people are crazy. But he I like his reviews though. Uh, the way he, he goes about doing it. I'm not a good few, food review guy. Can't even say it. But uh, if I have his t-shirt on, I might throw him a a, a special food review. It's probably going to be a, a like a bad acting food review, but I'm going to do it. And I do have a bald head. I ha uh, oh, you think I'm lying? I, I carry this everywhere I go, and I'm going to tell you the story why I carry it everywhere I go. I know it's in here because I do not leave home without – oh, here it is. I got a bald head in my bag. So everywhere I go to contest, believe me, I got this bald headpiece, and I wear it. He even got wrinkles, wrinkles for the forehead. I wear it because there's a guy named Boone, Pat Boone. He's ball headed and wears overalls. If you saw the Slaw Burger contest video, I wore it and he wore overalls too. Oh, we was twinning. So if you haven't saw that Slaw Burger video, go back and watch that Slaw Burger. Uh, Honey's, Honey's in Fayetteville, I think Tennessee. But I will see him in Georgia, guys. I think I will see Pat Boone in Georgia on the second Sunday in Marietta, Georgia, and I will wear this right next to him and get a selfie. And yeah, oh yeah, the bald, the bald, uh, the bald headpiece. I probably have to wear though with the T-shirt uh, that you have, and I might have to have a hat that says Portland on it. Uh, and I'll do a food review. Bam. It's one day before Easter. It's one day before Easter. What did you see? Let me see, Jeremy. Ten, yep. Don't know what Jeremy was talking about up there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, uh, Miss Hobbs, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with them people that don't like pickles. You got to watch watch them people. Yeah, Katie, um, there's, uh, when I go to this, uh, when I go to contests and, and, and Pat Boone is there, he can cheat. He can cheat because you know what? He's got to cheat really bad. To beat me. So go ahead. If he has to cheat, let him do it. He's even more of a loser when he loses, even if he cheats. Oh, the Slaw Burger Festival. I don't know when it is this year, but I was there last year. Green, green screen vids on the windshield of parked vehicles. Give me a bunch of ideas. You, uh, if you do the, the the green screen on the vehicles, you can you can buy two two of the cardboards, the green cardboards or the pink, you know, something like real bright that you don't use in there. You could you you can put those together and put that on a um, on a windshield instead of buying a whole big uh, green screen. So you can probably spend like three dollars. Three dollars to make a green screen instead of buying a whole fabric. Just a little, uh, little saver thing there. I 
I was watching videos of uh, green screens of how they did different ones. I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy the big fabric. And I have another painting like the one I have behind my couch. I have another big painting that uh, is on the other side. I can just drape it over. I mean, I'll just drape it over that. And uh, I'm looking. I got to write this down, too, because I need to buy lighting, uh, some extra lighting for that. Because you got to have a lot of lighting so you don't have any shadows. Yes, uh, green screens. I was just watching videos of green screens, and I think I'm going to have some fun with that. But it's going to take me some time. So, guys, bear with me on the green screen. The first ones are going to be ghetto, trailer, trash, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to be stereotypical. It's going to be not so good. But it's going to fit into my bad acting. So, I'll just have to make it where I try to do that kind of it's kind of hard to, to word but I'm just gonna pretend like I tried to to mess it up but eventually it's going to be top rated bad acting like top top tier and uh that's when I'm going full on Roku and at first everybody told me Brandon why well or they say the garbage disposal that no they said Brandon but I said, Brandon, why is your videos so long? I'm like, just fast forward it. There's a button right there. Just fast forward it. I mean, it's like sex. I can see if it's too short, then you got a problem. But if it's too long, you can work with it. Just don't use it all. Just go ahead and fat. I'm talking about the movie now. Just fast forward it. But now Roku wants videos that's over 10 minutes. So, bam, worked out. So, majority of my videos are over 10 minutes. Thanks, Nicola. And now my videos, when I fast forward the videos, I put the regular unsped up vi uh, video on the end. So, if you want to watch it all the way through without it sped up, then you can watch the whole video uncut. Because some people do not want to see it sped up at all. And I appreciate you guys for hanging in there but the ones that just uh don't like it sped up i mean that does like it sped up and don't want to watch the whole thing then you can still watch that so i'm trying to please everybody which i'm not still going to be able to do because some people don't like special effects and for you guys that don't like special effects i'm going to apologize in advance because it's going to happen it's going to happen Uh, thanks, everybody. And you know what? I think everybody in this room probably the only ones that watch all the video because I, I do a lot of statistics, st statistics. You know what I'm saying? Statistics. OK, but everybody. Like people in America. Only watch one and a half minutes of a video. If it's 30 minutes, they usually watch one and a half minutes. Which in Europe, in the UK, they watch like two and a half minutes. But guess what? In Australia, they watch like three to three and a half minutes average. So I, I don't know if Australia just doesn't have nothing going on but dirt and um, dingoes and, and kangaroos or something. But they watch a lot more videos and they're not all jumping around and have to do something. Hey, good night, Cheryl. Uh, Kendra. Oh, my neck is killing me. That's what she said. Say, I say that so you can't say that already because I just take care of it. Okay, we got 12 minutes. The opener, I'm going to go ahead and um, text Darren Breed and tell him, you better be on at 1030. If I'm going to get off here at 1030, he needs to be prompt with it. Because uh, that's the kind of person I am. I'm going to let him know.
All right, uh, Darren Braden. Okay, my job's done. So as soon as you go live, I'm probably going to burn out. What did Aaron say? Yes, Aaron. I know Aaron is down. I'm telling him he's so down. He um he got a church fan when I did the pizza challenge. Oh, it, it, you couldn't believe how good this felt when I was like in pain. I was I was kicking my leg. It, it hurt so bad that I eating that pizza. Remember like it was yesterday. Worcestershire. I'm like the king is saying Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I say it three times fast. Worcestershire. I say it again because I can say it. People can't say it. Say Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. No, it's Worcestershire. Get it right. Worcestershire. Say, I'm like the king of saying Worcestershire. The poster below that, that's uh, coupons. Yeah, those are all coupons. That's McDonald's, Hardee's. Uh, I think it's Steak and Shake back there. They're not really good coupons. I think the McDonald's might be the best one, but I got the app. So I use the app. And if you don't get free fries with a dollar meal or a one dollar any burger or like a free soda with a burger, like a dollar burger, I'm not getting it. So I use the app all the time. The app is where it's at, guys. What's this here shot? <laughs> What's this here sauce? Trisha, your wood. What's this here sauce? Is that what? The, no, it's not what's this here sauce. See, I can't even say that. It's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. People are like cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Yeah. No, that's not Tupac. That ain't Tupac's head. You thought that was Tupac's head right there? That burger bun? Yeah. That's a Hardee's burger. And I'm going to tell you what. When you go to Hardee's, that burger does not look like that. That bun is not that delicious and voluptuous. It's not. So, everybody, this is your, your right. You're right as a, a human being. If you see that piece of paper and you bring that piece of paper in any establishment and they put that whack burger up there that looks like somebody just threw it together because they was pissed off because they don't get paid enough. If it don't look like that, take it back. I don't want this, ma'am. No. So where's your manager? They don't care either. Like, look, it don't look like that. I want my money back. That's why I came here. False advertising. So if you just want to order something just to get your point across, you're having a bad day, just order something and just you can sit up there and argue with them. Say, hey, doesn't look like that. Let me get my money back. Hey, I was at that Chinese restaurant, um, that Chinese restaurant yesterday, and I put them eight plates out. And then everybody's like, they're going to kick you out of here. I said, you know what? They can kick me out of here if they want to. But I already paid my money. And if they want me to go, they have to give me my money back. State of Illinois, give me my money back and I'll leave. That's what she said. Is, can you see if you can do some collabs with Raina? I think you can nail some of the ones she does much faster. Uh, I don't, 
Um, oh my gosh, I don't like to do a lot of uh, collabs with people. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why. I mean, if I do, if I'm at a restaurant and they give us the same challenge and we do the same thing, then I'll do it. But I've had a problem with doing collabs at home when people do not use the same ingredients. They like to substitute. Uh, they don't put the video out the same exact time because when you put the video out and say, hey, the garbage disposal is doing a collab with me, but they don't post it on time. So I've already told them about this person and they're not even having it up. And they're like, where's this video at? If you don't do it at the same exact time, see, I'm, I do mine and make sure it's, it's, it's scheduled. So it's ready to go. I'm like computer. I'm like computer. I'm like computer. I keep going. I'm like computer. But if I tell you at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time that my video is going to be out, it's going to be out at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It doesn't happen like that with other people. And it's not just one person. It's like 90%. So I take the ratio and just don't do it. It's like it just gets tiresome. And then some people do cold stuff while I'm doing something hot. It's just uh, you wouldn't believe how crazy it is. Oh, oh, my gosh, I can go on days for, yes, it did make a difference. Because, like, the one I just did with the Coca-Cola chug, and I'm going to let you know now. Okay, um, I was at a contest coming back from Florida, and I knew I was going to win, so I didn't try hard at all. And it was ice cold, so it was even harder to do it ice cold. Well, I chugged it down, and then somebody else came and said they did a collab. I didn't know I did a collab. I just did a contest in another state and I knew I was going to win. So I didn't try hard. So now this person wants to do a collab and beat my time and say it was a collab. It's not a collab because I didn't talk to you about doing this collab and doing it at a special time. And theirs was warm and mine was ice cold. It was harder to do. So it's like, I had to do it again. I had to just to keep my name because it looks like this person could beat me which I know I could. I didn't try hard the first time. So now I had to go waste more time to go get another Coca-Cola and do it off the shelf and to beat that time like 20 seconds quicker. So it's, uh, yeah, collabs are just crazy. Well, Darren didn't get back with me. He's supposed to have been a, uh he's supposed to be coming on at about ten thirty. I don't know where he's at. But I can't be on here all night anyway, but I'll stay on here a little longer if you guys wanted to uh let me um Let me call the guy. You want me to call Darren Breeden? Let me get him alive. Hurt. Oh, he's screening his calls. Your call has been forwarded to an Oh man, I'm gonna leave him a message. Five, four, zero, four, two, you know, I I don't know, but uh please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey um Mr. Darren Eats. Uh, fifth place, Darren Eats. You can't accept my calls because I'm a seventh place ranked guy. That is a little, uh, little crazy. I was just saying because I was your opener for tonight for YouTube, and they're waiting on you, and I don't know what to do. I'm just going to keep on with the act, or um, just uh, cancel this, and they just be disappointed. I'm just, uh, I'm going live right now. I'm talking to you right now while um, I'm on here. So 
I don't know what to do. And it's covered. My ass is covered because I called you to see what's going on. That's all I was wondering, man. I was just uh, trying to figure it out. If you are satisfied with your message, press 1 to listen to your message. To send your message with normal delivery, press 1. Thank you. Your message has been sent. It's been sent, guys. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. We're watching. What are you watching, me or Darren Breeden? Because Darren Breeden. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, I, I'm, I appreciate it. I see I was supposed to be off at 10 there because I was supposed to go to bed and I had it worked out with uh, Darren that he was jumping on here. So um, I don't know what he's doing. High level. What what have you learned in the last year? Uh, Brian, what are you talking about of high level? All I learned, I can't tell everybody what I'll learn because that's some secrets there. I learned people are sensitive. I've learned that on the internet. People are very sensitive. But if they know me, I don't get mad over hardly anything it like takes a lot so i don't know why they don't know i'm joking if i joke if you joke with me and i joke back and you get attitude sorry i'm not sorry is what i tell people when do the new rankings for you uh january i think mine come out in january hopefully Hopefully, I'll be at least six. I mean, I don't have to do five or nothing like crazy. I mean, as long as I'm, I'm going up one at a time, hell, that's all I'm worried about. You know, I just, as long as I ain't going negative. Hey, not a brat. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Paul, I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of people remove their, their, um, their live stream for some reason, like, they're hiding from the government or they don't want people to know about something. I'll leave mine up because I don't care. I mean, if you want to watch it, you can watch it, but uh, I'll leave it up. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I... Yeah, I don't think, uh, Joe, I don't think he's trying to get them blinds up. <laughs> he ain't worried about that. But my neighbor's my neighbor's okay. She tried to start a fire the other day um, out front. But other than that, she's her normal little self. I don't have any good footage to, 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 to get of her yet, so... But when I do get good footage of her, you will know. I will I will post that as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm shaving tomorrow morning because I got a funeral to go to. So I'm going to shave tomorrow morning. I waited all the way. It was rough. That's what she said. I waited all the way to now. So tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm going to shave about 7 o'clock. And then I'm going to get ready to go. Uh, funny thing is the rental car company called me and asked me if I made a mistake because I, I, I get these short subcompact cars that get good gas mileage. And they saw I rented a premium, premium car. They like, they called me and said, Brandon, did you make a mistake? I said, no, I'm going to a funeral. I'll be driving people's family around probably. So I want a nice car. I'm not going to drive around in my truck. 
with the garbage disposal on it. Try that wax deal. I got nothing to say. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. No, Nicola. Um, I did a video of her, and she tried to start a little fire out front. Okay. I kind of like it's a major, it's the major road through the town, you know, the, the main road. And she starts to fire three feet from it. So it's going to smoke, you know, and be in the, in the road. And she's, she's a nut job. Yes. The truck with the locks in the door or my other blazer, um, that the brakes ain't working and, um, the wheel bearings need fixed and the Cadillac converter is, I think out again. So, I'm not going to drive any of those. I'm going to go ahead and drive um, a premium car. Oh, no. I don't care how much money I got, Joe. Do not care how much money I got. I bet you I do not drive anything expensive. Uh, well, my, tr my truck will have 200,000 miles on it on my next oil change. I just changed my oil yesterday. So the next oil change, the truck will have 200,000 miles on it. Uh, my other truck, my other Blazer only has 130000 to be in 98, so that's low mileage. So I'm getting that fixed a little bit just in case this one goes out, then I have something else to drive. But uh, if I get a brand new truck, guys, brand new, I want the top, top, top truck, top just came out after a hell damage. I want that thing looking like a golf ball. I don't care what it looks like on the outside, but I want that thing. I want the hell to beat the hell out of it. Beat the hell. I want the hell to beat the hell out of it. And um, just a, a perfect running truck. But the outside can have dents all over it. And I'll do my, my construction glue or my JB Weld and JB Weld my garbage disposal sign on the side. But, yes, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not a fancy kind of guy when it comes to vehicles. Yeah, uh, you said that right, Joe. My warranty is about to expire. Oh, if it looks like oh, if it looks like a golf ball, uh, Nicola, I think I get better gas mileage because the aerodynamics of the golf ball. I think you get better gas mileage. Yes, uh, Sherry, if I get a red one and paint the the the, the dense white. Yeah, I'm about to go to bed, guys. I, I'm going to have to cut it off here because it is getting late, and I have to be up at, uh, early in the morning. I got stuff to do. I, I, I got a box. I got a box top. This is just for my box tops. Top secret box tops. Goes to my niece. So I got all those in here. All right, guys, over and out. I got to go to bed, and I got a record high, 21 likes. Where did the dislikes go? I thought I had dislikes. Maybe that was likes. I was looking at it wrong. All right, everybody, thank you, and I'm going to the funeral mall. I got a poem here that uh, it's like halfway done. I really, I don't think I'll be able to even read a poem at the funeral anyway, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Uh, good night. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you uh, next Friday and next Friday. Hell, next Friday, I might I might be be here next Friday because I have the contest Saturday. So I might be here Friday night. Huh. I might go live at my house Friday. Well, either way it goes, I will see you Friday. And you will have a video posted on Sunday. Uh, thank you very much. You guys have a good night. And be sure to try to check my Roku, uh, my Roku station out that I just got. I'll paste it one more time for you. Bam. There's a Roku. And uh, over and out. Thank you very much.
Uh, Got to find a button to close this down.